Okay, uh, in this problem, the following observation were made during an orthogonal cutting operation. Tool rake angle 10 degree, coefficient of friction 0.85, chip thickness 2.5 mm, width of cut 50 mm, cutting speed 40 meters per minute, depth of cut 1.5 mm, shear strength uh, 650 newton per square millimeter. Then they determine the following chip thickness ratio, uh, shear angle, shearing force, friction angle, cutting force, power consumed at the cutting tool. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. First of all, we need to determine the chip thickness ratio, R. As the first question, we need to determine the R. R is equal T1 divided by T2. The T1 means depth of cut divided by the chip thick, uh, thickness of the chip. Here, depth of cut 1.5 given. Thickness of the chip, the 2.5. So then, answer is uh, 0 0.6 millimeter. This is the answer for the first one. Okay, let's move to the second part of the problem. Second part of the problem. Shear angle 5. To determine the 5 behind the equation, the 5 is equal tan inverse R cos alpha divided by 1 minus R sin alpha. Okay. So the values are known, so by sub, uh, substituting the values, we are able to determine the 5. 5 is equal tan inverse r 0 0.6 cos uh, alpha rake angle is known 10 degree divided by 1 minus 0 0.6 sin 10 degree then we are getting the answer 33.4 degree this is the answer for the second part well, let's move to the third part of the problem third part of the problem Shearing force. The problem is asked to determine the shearing force. Shear force. Here, the shearing takes place in this region. The total area is uh, this is the area for shearing. So, if we know the area and the sh uh, shear yield stress, then we are able to calculate the shear force. Shear force acting along this plane, shear plane. So the area A into the tau. Here the how to determine the area. A sin 5 is equal to A dash. A dash means the area in here. Okay. So then A is equal. What is A dash? A dash means the width of cut is given 15 into a depth of cut 1.5 1.5 divided by sin 5 divided by sin 5 so a we can calculate a is equal 40.873 So then I am going to substitute that value in this uh, equation 40.873 into 650 Newton per square millimeter here also square millimeter so then answer we are getting in Newtons into Twenty six point five seven Newton. This is the shear force. Then problem asking the fourth 
part of the problem friction angle friction angle friction angle lambda is equal tan inverse mu here tan inverse the mu is uh, given 0.85 so the lambda is equal 40.36 degree then the fifth part of the problem fifth part of the problem as in cutting force fc have to determine then how to determine the fc before we are going to determine the fc we have to determine resultant force of the uh, cutting the resultant force because we are having the equation r is equal fs shear force divided by cos 5 plus lambda minus alpha I am going to subdue the values fs we have found that one divided by cos 33.4 degree plus lambda friction angle 40.36 minus alpha alpha 10 degree then we are getting the answer for r r is equal 60.088 kilo newton okay this is the r sorry sorry in here this one should be kilo newton yeah. this one should be kilo newton okay this one should be kilo newton okay then uh, let's move to the let's move to how to find the fc fc is equal r cos we have in the equation lambda minus alpha so i'm going to subdue the values here r 60.088 cos lambda 40.36 minus 10 the fc is equal 51.85 kilo newton is the cutting force is the cutting force the thrust force also we can find thrust force also we can find ft is equal ft is equal R sin lambda minus alpha. So let me subdivide the values. If t is equal R 60.088 sin 40.36 minus 10 degree. So then for the ft we are getting the answer. Thirty point three seven kilo newton. Then the last part of the problem. Let's move to the last part of the problem. Last part of the problem. Power consume. Power consume. The power consume is equal. Power consume is equal cutting force into velocity. Cutting force into velocity. Here, cutting force we have already calculated, and also the uh, cutting velocity is uh, given as the data. For each speed given as the data. The VC is equal 40 meters per minute. Okay. So fifty one point eight 
फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री इंटू फोर्टी सो बाई डिवाइडिंग इंटू सिक्सटी वी आर गेट इन द आंसर इन वोट इन द आंसर इन वोट दैट इज इक्वल टू So, final answer the p value is equal thirty four point five seven two three uh, kilo volt. Okay, this is how we are solving this uh, problem.